if the agreement is basically just 50 50 across the board that should be on your split sheet and it should go as it relates to any and all income related to the song entitled blah blah, blah it's going to be 50 50. in today's music business tip i'm going to be discussing how split sheets work Okay, I'm a real entertainment attorney. And so this question comes up pretty frequently with how it works, why it's important, do we even need it? And I'm actually gonna show you what I found because I went into Google and I go, look, if I am you know, an, a, a, an independent artist and I'm trying to figure out how to do this and looking at the free templates that I was able to find, I actually downloaded them, okay? We're gonna take a look at what I found and then that Orco and I are gonna go through and just have a quick discussion. So. Let me show you, first and foremost. All right, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. So when I did a Google search, this was one of the first free split sheets that I found. This is from Song Trust. Song Trust is a collections agency for um, publishing rights. So this is very simple. So they use an example and they go, here's the name of the song, the composition. Here are the writers and these are the splits, okay? And then there's just a little blip right here. It goes, the writers warrant, represent, and agree there's no samples, okay? So there's no copyrighted material. Interpolations, meaning, you know, we didn't interpolate some other sample, make it our own, replays, or other copyrighted material, okay? So we're saying this is all original stuff, all right? And then they sign. So that's the example, and then it actually gives you the template to use. Now, my issue with this, is that it the doesn't purpose, really say anything right the purpose of exactly the purpose of a split sheet is to, to there's two components to every song there's the composition okay which is the actual things like the mm, chords the lyrics right so the things that comprise the song the composition which can exist whether we record it or not right so if i sit down and i write something on the right. guitar you know i have yep. a song so that's the composition and then there's the recording. So if we go and actually record it, now it's a master. So that's why when you guys hear there's two copyrights in, in any song, that's what it is. Right. So the reason why I'm having an issue with this is that it doesn't designate the two things, right? It just says, well, what's the split? Now, if we did it this way and our general understanding is like, oh, you and I wrote a song and we're going to split 50%, you know, just or 50, 50 on, on everything. Everything. I mean, right. look, we could write that out. That's and a very, general, that's very simple. Yeah. And my general thought here is even if it's super simple, I still prefer this, that you actually sign and put your signature on, right? Over nothing. Very important that you do at least something. Okay. Um, but let me show you maybe a little bit of a, a better example. So then I found this guy. Okay. So on this one in this sheet here, it goes, all right, let's do the song title. In fact, I'm gonna make it a little bigger for you. There we go. So what's the date? What's the song title? Is it also known as, right? So this might be like former names of the song or the beat, okay? And then it goes, all right, so who contributed to it? So you put the name, the contact information, and then it has, what's the affiliation? Meaning um, in the United States, there are three major collection agencies for publishing rights. So it's ASCAP, BMI, CSAC. I don't know anyone who uses CSAC. So it's pretty much, you know, ASCAP and BMI. And then it goes, is there a publisher? Now, for a lot of you independent artists, you're not gonna have a publisher. So you just say no, or you go, I'm the publisher. I'm gonna collect all of my publishing. You don't have to have an actual publishing company. They're just, you know, this is just for purposes of saying, do you have a publisher? So in your case, that Orco, um, when you were in your band days, did you number one, do split sheets? Let me tell you what we did. We, we, had, we <laughs> had a discussion. Um, we, we did our, you know, I think, you know, I think we did. I remember that we all signed up initially for like, you know, BMI and stuff like that, but I don't think we ever really did anything past that to when we were, um, submitting our music for anything that we were, you know, adding any of that stuff in. But also when we were doing that too, it wasn't so much about like the streaming and the Spotify's and how that kind of stuff worked was a little bit different as well. Like we weren't really doing all that stuff as much. It was more just like the physical stuff and independent releases. So it wasn't like it was really going anywhere or I don't even know if we well, regardless, regardless of where the money was coming from though, the question mm -hmm. was, I mean, did you have a split? Did we just write anything no. down anytime. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think okay. so. We may have. And that's, and unfortunately that's pretty common. We have just kind of handshake deals and understandings between us. So 
if you did use something like this, right, then this is the piece that was missing from that first one, right? So we say, what's the ownership? Okay, so this would be kind of the percentage that you would allocate. But again, it's not noting the composition share. So this is where artists get confused, okay? Because the first one said, what's the splits for the composition? And then this one says, what's the ownership? So to simplify this for yourself, I think that when you're having a discussion, if the agreement is basically just 50-50 across the board, that should be on your split sheet. And it should go as it relates to any and all income related to the song entitled blah, blah, blah. It's going to be 50-50. So that's one way that you can do this. And then you want to actually make sure that you sign. Okay. Now, when it comes to how I do this as an actual lawyer, this is an example of what I do. I do not use split sheets. And the reason is, this is all the information you put on this thing. Okay. Where does it talk about who's going to have the right to make, right. you know, to collect the money? Who's going to pay everyone? Who has um, the right to how release often? it? Right? Who has the right to, I don't know, sell merch? Make any decision. Music. Yeah. Or license the music to TV and film. So there's all this stuff that's not in here. That's what gets missed when you use a split sheet. But again, a split sheet is better than nothing. So I'm, I'm, I'm fully on board. If you want to use one of these, please do. But when it comes to a collaboration agreement, this goes into more depth, okay? Mm, now, this is it. my template. I think this is the one I grabbed from my book. Now, here's the thing. You know, if you go buy a contract like this from a law firm, it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars. If you get it out of the book, it's like 25 bucks. So I'll make sure to link it down below. Um, but in any case, you just download this. And when you go through, you'll just see stuff like you just put names in. And it'll be like, all right. So when it comes to, you know, are we paying anybody? Who's going to own it? right? Mm. How's the money going to work? What percentage is being paid? So do you, do you see here how this obviously goes into a lot more detail? And when you get a contract that's already formatted, the hope is you go through, you just update numbers, you just add names here and there, but otherwise it's done for you. Yeah. Yeah. You now credit, what well, produced by who? Um, if we have a dispute, where are we going to have it, right? It might be in your state of Arizona. So this is only a few pages long, but I just really wanted to use it to just show you that that's where you want to be yeah. as someone who's doing these kind of contracts. Now, this is not the most intuitive thing for a lot of people. And but I do, I do like the fact that I do like the fact that, you know, it, like things, things like, you know, I don't, I'm not just trying to plug your book here, but like things like your book where you kind of break down what all the stuff means. And, uh, when you're looking at some like a, like like your plug and play template that you have, like you really can just from things like that, you can kind of understand what's going on a little bit better. And it does make it easier and it makes it more clear because, you know, when these things come up, like when you're like in my situation, I didn't even understand how that stuff worked until I met you, quite honestly. Like and 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 it's on it's embarrassing how much that I knew and how much I didn't know. And as far as I got in in my industry or my you know genre and how much how well I did, um, just even still, I did not know anything. And just so it's just very, I don't know. It just I agree with you. Just you need to know these things and kind of go through them. Yeah. And so what I would say to an independent artist or someone in the business, otherwise, if you're a manager trying to help artists, you know, have something, anything. Even if you don't have a template and you write it out in a Word document yeah. and everyone signs it, that's really going to be way better than nothing, okay? But when you want to get to that level of like you're really, you know, professional, you've built your business, you want to have full templates where that say all the things. How are we paying? Who's paying? Who owns? So that's why I wanted to go through this for you guys today just to kind of get that example. And so for, you know, that Orco and I, we've done a lot of music together and we have agreements for everything and they're full length agreements. We're not going to do simple split sheets because it just leaves room for interpretation, right? If it doesn't say it in the contract, then someone's going to be like, this is what she said. This is what he said. Okay. So um, I hope you guys found that useful. Um, and then if you want that, that collab agreement, I'll make sure to link down below. Um, so you can get the book if you want it, it comes with other templates. Um, so we'll end there.